Are you looking to diversify your investments? Do you want to invest beyond the Philippines? In this video, I talk about how I get exposure to the international markets and at the same time, diversify and limit my risks. So check this video out. I started investing in the Philippines in 2007 when I first bought my first equity index fund from my mom, who is a film life advisor. The index fund that I bought tracked the PSEI, but it was known by another name back then. What is the PSEI? The PSEI tracks the performance of the stock price of the top 30 companies in the Philippines. And it is used as a barometer for the performance of the entire Philippines market. With the risk of oversimplification, basically if the PSEI is up, then the market is doing well. If the PSEI is down, then the market is not doing well. Currently, we are in a sideways market and looking at the start of the year versus the stock price versus the PSEI now, we are currently on a downtrend, meaning we've lost value in the PSEI in the past three months. The PSEI is composed of companies like SM, Ayala, Jollibee, PLDP, Meralco, and Globe. So the current performance of the PSEI is mainly driven by the market sentiment that recovery is not going to be as fast as we had hoped for. This is mainly due to the increasing number of cases, the slow rollout of the vaccines, which means that the businesses in the Philippines would have a harder time to recover. So this is the reason why it is important to diversify your investments. But what is diversification? According to Wikipedia, in finance, diversification is the process of allocating capital in a way that reduces the exposure to any one particular asset or risk. A common path towards diversification is to reduce risk or volatility by investing in a variety of assets. So let's break that down. Allocating capital, that means where you put your money to work for you. Reduce exposure means minimizing your risk to any one particular asset or risk. This refers to movements in market or changes in market sentiment. Investing in variety of assets, examples of different asset classes are stocks, there are also bonds, real estate, and a lot more. Aside from diversification in terms of asset class, you can also diversify in terms of country or markets, which is what I'm going to talk about today. Diversification is often summed up in what we often hear as, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So now, let's move on to how I get exposure outside the Philippines. If you are investing in only the stock market, then you are exposing yourself to the movements or changes in market sentiment to that particular asset class. So as I discussed earlier, given the negative market sentiment, the PSEI is not doing well. Similarly, if you are only investing in one country, then you're exposed to political, social, economical, and cultural risk associated to that country. That is why if you invest in the PSEI or in the Philippine stock market, you'll be familiar with the performance tracker of net foreign buying or selling. This quantifies the amount of foreign buying or selling in the Philippine stock market. So this gives you an idea that even people outside of the Philippines want to expand and diversify their portfolio by investing in our country. Sadly, the net foreign buying or selling is skewed towards the net selling, which says something about how the international markets see the Philippine market moving forward. So now, if you've ever wondered how, you, how to get exposure in companies like Google, Apple, Tesla, and the like, you can learn about it today. There are numerous ways on how to get exposure and start buying asset classes in other countries. Like you can open a brokerage account in another country. But today, I'd like to talk about UITFs, which give exposure to international markets. What is a UITF? A UITF is a pooled amount of money from different investors and are then invested by a fund manager based on a specific investment objective. I won't talk about what a UITF is in detail, but you can comment below if you want me to create videos about it in the future. The first one that I'd like to share is the US Equity Index Feeder Fund that I bought in DPI. The fund has two denominations, so you can buy it using US dollar, and recently they now allow you to buy in Philippine peso, which is great. I actually prefer and I'm very excited that they have already offered the Philippine peso equivalent of their US denominated 
index UITF because then I don't have to convert peso to dollar and then buy the UITF using the converted dollars because this exposes me to exchange rate risk which means if the Philippine peso performs worse than the US dollar, then the investment that I made in US dollars will give me a relatively lower yield than what I would have expected. I originally bought the dollar denominated one in 2019 because it was the only UITF available at that time. But I wasn't able to add consistently to that fund. That is why I wasn't able to benefit from the bull run that happened starting March last year. With the Philippine Peso denominated UITF, I can now add to my investment on a more consistent basis. So this fund that I'm buying aims to track the performance of the S&P 500, which tracks the biggest 500 companies in the United States. So similar to the PSEI, which only tracks 30 companies, the S&P 500 tracks the 500 biggest companies in the United States. Since the US market is on an uptrend and they recently breached the 4,000 level, hitting an all-time high and currently still at the 4,000 levels, the investments that I've made with the peso denominated UITF has grown by 5 to 6% in a relatively short period of time. I also like this fund because it has a relatively lower management fee than the other UITFs available in DTI. Currently, they're charging 0.75% management fee versus the other UITFs that I've seen, which range from 1% to 1.5%. Remember, the lower the management fees, the better, because that means you get to keep more of your gains. BPI also offers investments outside of the United States. They also have a European Index Equity Feeder Fund that tracks the performance of the MSCI, European Index, which tracks 432 companies across 15 European countries. Sadly, they only have a dollar-denominated investment for now. I'll include the link to the list of UITFs BBI is currently offering in the description below so you can look and study it for yourselves. Aside from BPI, I also buy UITFs in Atram through their seedbox.ph website. I'm going to link their website on, in the description below so that you can also explore that. Atram offers three UITFs that gives you exposure outside of the Philippines. First, we have the Global Technology Feeder Fund. It invests in companies globally that are related to technology. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, Google, Visa, and SAP are part of this particular fund. The companies are spread across 10 countries, which also helps you diversify. The management fee for this fund is at 0.9%. Next, they also have the Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. They invest in companies that are related to consumer discretionary spend. So the fund includes companies like Amazon, the biggest e-commerce in the United States, Alibaba, the biggest e-commerce in China, Sony, and even Nintendo. The companies are spread across at least seven countries, and the management fee is 0.87%. They recently launched a global financial speeder fund. They invest in companies that provide financial services. They are invested in companies like the top banks in the US, like Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs. The companies are spread out across 10 countries and the management fee is 0.86%. Currently, I have the Global Technology Feeder Fund and the Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund as I want to get exposure in these industries. Aside from cbox.ph, you can actually now invest in Atram's UITFs using Gcash. So you can go to your Gcash app and go to GInvest and there you'll see all the different UITFs that Atram is offering, including the UITFs that I mentioned in this video, as well as other UITFs that they offer. Also, another good thing about the UITFs that Atram offers is that they're all denominated in pesos. You don't have to do any currency conversions to buy the international UITF. There are other ways to get exposure in international markets, as I said earlier. You can create a brokerage account, which for me is a bit more expensive and a bit more challenging. I also have another account in eToro that allows you to buy and sell stocks outside the Philippines, not just in the United States, but in Europe and in the rest of Asia. Comment below if you want to see a video about how eToro works and how you can take advantage of it. So to summarize, what are the benefits of buying a UITF and getting exposure 
outside the Philippines. So the main benefit is that you're able to diversify your investment. You're able to benefit from gains in the market outside the Philippines. So I said earlier, given the good performance of the stock market in the U.S. compared to the Philippines stock market, then you get better yields compared to just investing in the Philippines. So if you have any questions about the video or UITF, please comment below and we can have a discussion about it. But remember, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research, understand the risks that are involved in buying UITFs, and just sharing with you what I've done so that you can get an idea of how to go about it by doing your own research and understanding these matters for yourself. If you learned something from this video, please don't forget to like. Please also share this with your friends and, your, and with your family who you think may benefit and would want to invest outside the Philippines. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get updated every time we post a new video. Thank you and have a great day.